morning guys on the day of eating episode day in life of Eric Johnson just got out of the gym did uh, push hyper uh, that's a chest it's a flat did some uh, dips some shoulders triceps all the good stuff. It was fun. Did a little rollout with that for the hamstrings and shit. Also, I don't know if y'all have issues with hamstrings or not. But I got this fucked up hamstring. And uh, I found this some fucking tape gum that my kids have. This hubba bubba. Shit. We have a Bubba that van picked out one day. Works out pretty good in the car. Grab that bitch like this, like a disc. Shove it in between your hamstrings. Oh, that hurts like a motherfucker. Feels so good. Mmm. Damn, that shit hurts. Anyway. So, I'm on this kick right now. This oatmeal kick. Ghirardelli chocolate oatmeal. This morning I did 120 grams of oats. Ghirardelli chocolate, some uh, cookies and cream. Let me get my fucking hair cut, don't I? Cookies and cream casein, some uh, egg whites. Oh, that shit was good, man. I love oatmeal. Love that shit. I'm so glad my macros are getting higher and higher. I can eat big bowls of my big bowls of oats. I'm at 230 carbs, 40 fats, 260 proteins. I'm still fucking poverty level, but it's a whole lot better than I was a few weeks ago. I know that shit. Uh, burger night tonight. That's all I know for now. That's all I know for now. Shitty ass fucking weather. So, I'm gonna stay out of it. I'm going to try and get some work done at the office and then grab my boy, grab Van, and head home. Sucks, man. That guy, you know, his uh, last day of pretend school, preschool, church school, whatever school it was, was uh, a couple weeks ago. So now he's going to go to kindergarten. And, uh... That means I'm not going to have my boy with me anymore. Kind of sad. Kind of sad. It's going to suck. So I've got him. Um, and what? Summer's coming up. School's out for summer in like uh, two weeks, I think. Two or three weeks. And so I won't have him after that because his mama works for the district. And so, I will, um, what the fuck is that, man? Is that on my camera? It's gone now. Um, so yeah, mama works for the district. Brothers will be out. He's out. I have no more kids after a couple weeks. I'm sad. Occasionally, I guess I'll have the boys. Maybe, uh, when she has to go work up at the school or whatever. The office, whatever, whatever she does. Or when I'm bringing them into town to go to Mimi's house or Papa's house or something like that. But uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Pretty sad, huh? I love my kids. All right, guys. I'm gonna uh. I gotta run by the fucking office. All hell's breaking loose over there because of this damn storm. So I'm gonna run over there and then I'm gonna go find something to eat. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Later. Got that French toast casserole kicking, or what we call broast. It's simmering right here on the stove and I'm gonna throw it underneath the broiler here in a little bit. It's thick as hell, baby. It's like nine. 
It's like 414 grams of uh, egg whites, some cinnamon, some allspice, some uh, sugar-free French vanilla Tarani. Just sweeten it up a little bit. Keep it in a blender for a minute and then pour it over a couple of slices of uh, Nature Zone honey wheat bread. It's pretty low carb bread. I think it's like 19 grams of carbs for two slices. So yeah, I'm going to let this bad boy cook up and then I'll sit down and eat it. I'm going to throw some cherries on top and shit. I'll, you'll see what's up. I'm going to get it done and then uh, and I'll turn the camera back on. What's up guys? So uh got my brose done. Which is basically a French toast casserole is what it is. Looking good, isn't it? I'm about to hit it up with some of these cherries right here. Boom. It's gonna be good, baby. Hold on one second. Watch this shit. Yeah, baby. Now be careful, man. I might spill over on my plate. Drop all these cherries on there. These are them Oregon, Oregon red tart cherries. Oh, man, they're good. Look at that. Bam. All right, I'm gonna eat this shit and then. Uh, oh, hold on one second. All right, guys, I got it all set up. So here you go. My macros today are like sitting at about 230 carbs, 260 protein, and about 40 fat. So I'm definitely getting the gains now, baby. Pretty much lost everything. Everything from my trip, from my Disney trip, which was a blast. Um, now just moving forward. Started increasing my increasing my macros oh yeah that's hot that's hot baby man that shit's good i love cinnamon and allspice all that shit mm -mm -mm. the cherries all right so yeah i'm increasing my macros now and start getting into some high numbers so we can start having some fun on these on these videos some good shit to eat some massive shit y'all see me put down some food too just wait gotta do it slowly slowly but surely i get there yes sir that's about it. I'm gonna finish this shit up. Am I shaking the camera whenever I cut? I'm gonna finish this up. Man, this is good. Look how hot it is. You see that steam coming off of it? All right. I'm gonna finish this up and I'll see y'all at the next meal. Which I don't know what. I don't know what it'd be. I know tonight we're doing uh, tacos. So you'll see some uh, tacos from me. I know right now I have some corn tortillas set up for my tacos. But I went by Walmart just now and picked up some, uh, some a bunch of different lavish or a bunch of different Joseph breads. I don't know. I might use that. Or I might just stick with the corn tortillas that I already have set up. You see how much I'm eating, right? I still haven't even made a dent. Ooh, buddy. Alright, guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Guys, just got home. It was uh, pretty busy today. And uh, I think I ate my second meal, which was that, uh, that, what was it? What the hell did I eat? That roast? That French toast casserole? Anyway, ate that shit up, and then, 
got busy. I was gonna eat a Quest bar on the way home, and I was thinking, fuck, man, I should just use those those macros to make something good. And I was gonna move some, for some more oats, so I'm making another hundred gram of oats. And holy shit, what the hell did I just do? Making another hundred gram of oats. I'm gonna throw some strawberries up in that bitch and some uh, chocolate casein and tear it up it's gonna be good baby i love oatmeal so um that's what i'm making right now hold on one second yeah the strawberries they were frozen i fucking stuck them in the microwave hit vegetable and kind of like tore them up pretty damn good and now i've got my oats over here cooking on the stove let them bad boys cook for a few minutes there's van and then, uh, yeah, I'm going to let these bad boys cook. Then I'm going to throw some eggs. I think I'm throwing like five egg whites in here. So 230 grams of egg whites, some uh, casein, and then uh, probably chocolate casein, chocolate and strawberries. What do you think? That sounds pretty fucking tasty, doesn't it? And then that's it. So yeah, let me get it all together and uh, we'll sit down, do some chatting or whatever. I'll be back. Yeah, then I look good as fuck. Yeah, baby. Some oats, strawberries, cookies and cream whey, some egg, some of that ready whip. Bam! Shit looks good, doesn't it? About to tear this bowl up. Man, what does this make? Like, I want six cups of oats today. I'm crazy, huh? If it fits, I love oatmeal. And tonight's burgers, so I don't know what I'm gonna have left over. I know I was gonna do just like an American burger with a couple slices of cheese, some jalapenos. Mm. That's about it. No side. This is my side. <gasps> we'll see what's up though. Alright. I'm sure this is a long ass video already, so. I'm gonna eat this. Let y'all go. And I'll make the burger. I'll make a little short little video on the burger. Alright, guys. Later. All right, guys, I'm setting up these burgers here. I just want to show you a little couple tips and tricks that I do to make my burgers tasty. First, I use this adobo. What I do is I season my plate. And I use a nice flat plate. Take my weighed out meat. And gently press in the center and then kind of work your way out to however thickness you want. This is a nice lean 96 lean burger. And now whenever I'm ready to throw it on the grill, it's going to peel right off because I had that seasoning right underneath it. All right, now that I got it flattened out, the next step what I do is I take it and I slap it on the hot grill. And then I hit it with that liquid smoke. There it is. Took it about six or seven minutes on one side, flip it over, hit it on the other side. Slap it on a bun and eat it. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of them ready. All right, here's the final product of my burger. It's jalapenos, mushrooms, cheddar, Swiss, tomatoes, lettuce, mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup. Get a big ass pickle. Boom. There's the wifeies. That's all, guys.
Until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment below. Later.